in this video we will learn about violin plot before i start i would strongly recommend if you have not seen box plot video yet just click the link showing here at upper right corner and first complete that video and then come back over here and watch it further using violin plot from seaborn library you can create a basic plot which looks like this and advance violin plot even more than this hello everyone welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon let's understand first what kernel density is it's nothing but a normal distribution which we keep on plotting which looks something like this and right side of the violin is nothing but it's a mirror image and it is just rotated to vertical form now let's understand the box plot so again i would recommend you to watch the box plot video first and then continue over here you can pause the video use link provided in the description section and first complete that then come back over here in the box plot we covered all these elements in box plot video so this is the box plot and here we have kernel density plot when both of these two are combined together it makes a violin plot so if you can notice in the middle of the violin we have one box plot which is inner which provides the inner quartile option uh, informations which minimum quartile one then medium quartile three maximum are the elements of this box plot and this density show is called the kernel density estimation so this is all a violin plot is in a nutshell if you visit the official website of Seaborn, there you can see this detailed argument which you can use to create the violin plot. Here we are not going to cover all of them, but yes, most of them which are most frequently used. If you are interested in learning them all in detail, do not hesitate to visit the official website. I will be providing you the link in the description section. Just check them out. Let's jump to the Python IDE, which is Jupyter Notebook in our case, and try to plot the violin. So here we are in Jupyter Notebook. Here first step, as usual, to import all the required libraries. So there are four libraries which are required and I have already imported them just to save the time. Then it comes to bringing the data. Again, I have imported the data just to save the time. I have already imported it. You can follow the same step and import the data. Data link to download the data I will be providing in the description section. Then creating violin plot is going to be most likely as box plot. What wherever it is different from box plot, only those topics we will be covering in this video. We will cover in this video. Things where violin and box plot are same, those points we will not cover over here because those you have already already learned in box plot video and you can follow the same let's start with creating a basic violin plot so as usual you can just use violin sns.violin and here you just need to provide the uh, variable which you want to plot over here let's see if this works so here you also need to give the data frame name which in our case is going to be mart so here we have our first violin plot like you can see in the center we have one box plot and this right side is nothing but the mirror image of this left side normal distribution moving forward here it says create a violin plot on two categorical and one numeric variable and use split let me explain you what does it want us to do exactly so first it is saying create one violin plot using two categorical variable and one numeric variable in the above example we just use one numeric variable here we will be using one numeric variable and two categorical variables categorical variable i will be plotting at x-axis which in our case we will take payment we would li just like to see what is the density of each of the payment method and what are the descriptive statistics for that and then we will check out the total value will plot that and as usual i will just put the uh, data frame name over here 
so here we have the violin flop plot for each of the payment method each of the three payment methods right so here you can see the information which i just explained on the board now the next statement it says is we have to include two categorical variables but here we have included just one let's try to include the other one you can put it at the end also or here also i'm just for the ease of understanding i'm keeping it here so i would just like to split it further basis on gender right let's try to execute this so now here we have credit card distribution for male and female both this violin is for female this one is for male so this is how you can use three categorical variables in a violin sorry two categorical variable and one numeric variable in a violin plot now if you see here there are two violin created for each of the payment method re representing to female and male while if you see the other side of violin is nothing just the mirror image of left side right so if we can do something that in one violin plot itself we can see male or female both so that will be much better option so for that we can use split equals to true here we have so here now the right side is not not just a mirror image of left side but that's the distribution which represents to male distribution so this is how you can have two categorical variable re uh, represented in one violin itself now before we proceed further i'll just copy this thing so that it will save our time let's try the another example here it says change the box in the violin plot to horizontal lines so here in the violin plot you see the boxes are included what if i don't want to see the box instead of that i want to see horizontal lines which represents the first quartile median and third quartile and min max all right so how can we do that let's try this for that we just need to use inner argument and in that we will use quartile here all right so if you see these lines please do not uh, be misguided okay for the ease of understanding i'll show it over here all right so here if you see these are for male and these are for female so this represents to first quartile then median and then the third quartile right so median itself is a second quartile option so this is how you can change the box plot to the horizontal lines let's look at the next problem statement where it says to draw a line for each of the observation in our data so this will make it uh, very slow in inner argument we just need to make it stick and let's see if this work here it says draw a line for each of the observation in valent plot so let's try, try to run this if this works so like i said this is this is going to make it very huge and slow in processing so that's why it is taking time here we go here we have the violin plot created and this line this black lines if you see these are one single line for each of the observations the thousand observation which we have in our data frame each of the line represents to each of the observation this is not usually required but just in case if you are interested in drawing a line for each of the observation you can use this now let's see here it says try to smoothen the violin plot right using bandwidth you can use that to smoothen the violin plot let's try that the argument which you need to use is bw that re, uh, represents to bandwidth right let's say 1.2 so this is why th this is how you can just smoothen the violin plot you can reduce it sorry you can do it like this all right so this is called the smoothening of violins in a violin plot now let's try the next problem statement so if you see in this violin plot this point and this point shows the extreme value in our supplied data so how what is it that you can do to reduce that because that does not make sense all the time so many of the time you would not be interested in showing the extreme values in our data data so how can you do that nothing much you just need to use the cut 
argument and for that you can supply the value as zero so like if you can see the extremist value has been removed right so here at the bottom whatever extreme value was available that has been removed at the top whatever extreme value was there that has also been removed so this is how you can use the seaborn library to create a violin plot to make the statistical representation Hope you understood how to create the violin plot and the video was interesting just in case if you have any kind of doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section if you don't have any doubt do not hesitate to put, provide the feedback as well how can we make it more interesting for you and uh, happy learning till now practice it as much as possible all the best